Okay, yeah. this is a really good pick too. Yeah, I, looking at these drafts though, we're gonna get final like thoughts from you guys. Um, starting with the two on on the right here, Jack and and Fog. What do you guys think about this game? Um, I think I think Navi. I think if they're if they haven't taken this game within about 20, 30 minutes, if they don't have all the towers and have full control of this game, they're gonna be in some really deep trouble. Later. Firefly, so won't be able to go to the jungle. Yeah, it's going to be slowed down a bit now. Secret right now is very happy with the situation because they're up against a Chen, and if the Chen doesn't provide his team, oh, oh, maybe this is the opening they needed. They do catch up, Pilot. I bring him down somehow, some way. Uh, so he's still finding that first. He was blood. actually really patient. He was actually waiting behind the Beastmaster for quite some time, and we saw Pilot there uh, trying to run up and. Maybe try to harass, it, harass the Beastmaster and getting caught by the Ensnare into the stun from the Centaur creep. Yeah, and you can see General getting a lot more confident now, but reinforcements are arriving. Pilot Dai will be here to slow down the push. Art style wrapping around. If he can find another kill, this could transition oh, he, into a lot of power has... pressure. And he's got the right creeps for it too. There's the troll trap to start. The stop could likely follow. He gets up the monolith, but the Hadouken, the test of fate. Art style oh, make it two to zero. Damn, that other lane, so did Yara on the safe lane here can actually get the tower at bottom. Otherwise, it's going to be difficult for them to actually get get a tower here because Secret has a lot of deep push. It's going to be another go on RTZ. He really doesn't want to have to use that time walk, but test of faith. Now that the damage comes out, he will. Uh oh, the stop ambush connects on two heroes. Arteezy, though, is very slow because of the board. He does manage to get the ultimate off, combining with Puppy, but Arkstyle tanking his own right. He's going to turn this one. The creeps are swarming onto Puppy. They bring him down, and suddenly the whole Navi host descends upon Secret. Arteezy down to the south, though, is healthy, survives through it all, and now Envy moves in angry, out for vengeance. The boy time walks away. Arteezy escapes. Envy survives, and Navi give chase. Dendi, can he bring down Arteezy? This will be a huge kill, but he time walks back. Doesn't heal himself in doing so, but he survives and meanwhile Arteezy oh, continuing to run while Envy cleaning up. He's gotten a triple kill looking for more. Can he make it an ultra? Then he will chain away. Still the pursuit. Envy's fast. Just needs one, maybe two more auto attacks to finish this one off, but it won't happen. Did you raw? We'll have to disengage, so an excellent hold in the end there by Secret. Dude. And Navi keep on trying to go on him. They've been very Almost stubborn about it. I mean, it. if they don't kill him first before the fight starts, they go for, go on his teammates, he's just going to drop the chrono on the rest of the heroes coming in. So they kind of have to focus him to try and bring, bring him down before he drops chrono. The bashes are stacking up here for Arteezy, but the swap from Seneco will save the day. The problem is, they can't really go he's on this so face of point. He's just hitting Seneco now instead. He's almost brought two heroes down, essentially by himself. And there with one more auto attack, Arteezy will get the job done. They just don't seem to have the damage. Can they at least kill Envy, who is probably the bigger damage at the stage? They'll bring him down. Then Arteezy starts to whack away at Artstyle, brings him down to half HP. Bulba is here. Meanwhile, has the lasso, gonna drag Dendi back, but look to focus the timbers off with the arrow splitter coming through as well. He gets pushed back into it by a beautiful flame break by Bulba. Secret just keep on connecting, and now the bash on Dayar as well. One more could put him into harm's way. Although Puppy is a bit low on the mana, doesn't have the echo stop combo. Damn. So Secret again taking the favorable trade. Two for three there. And use the recall to their advantage to get pick offs when they are splitting up to defend their other lanes. Where did Navi find their opening? And just it's been so quiet for them. There's Envy, roared up, but very fast with the boots of travel. Won't be an easy grab. The Chen Army gets in range. Chakram committed. The stomp as well. They do bring EE Sama down. Oh, that is, but man, they had to commit for it. That is a huge, huge pick off for them. Very good 1400 net worth swing. Yeah, very good positioning by all of the heroes to surround the razor there around the river area. But RTZ gonna get a tower here. At least something is gained after losing the razor there. Well, they'll finally claim this tier one mid. Can't believe it's still standing with a Chen, Beastmaster, and Ben on the Navi side. Ooh, but the Splitter coming. comes through. The swap out, trying to keep General alive, and the stun forward from Suneko. But Bulba wrangles him even deeper, pulling General out of position a bit further. They'll get the kill there. They're fighting without the Chrono. Now they've got it available. Arteezy laying into Suneko. Even when Navi find their opening, they kill the Razor. They still give up two heroes. They do get a second tier one bottom now. That going to DRA. Uh, Yara will get stomped in turn. Uh, he'll be as put under for a little while by Puppy. For this event, let's roll the dice again. The swarm onto Arteezy, setting things up here, but again, Puppy will be prepared with the Echo Stomp, trying to make sure he gets that spirit on every single hero. Then back into the pit, it will go. And meanwhile, a lasso grab to the south. They found Seneco. There won't be a swap counterplay, obviously, as the bench gets caught out. Will be brought down. 
Radiant, though, do get the Roshan, the last hit as well. The Age is going to take Yara, and then the real fight breaks out. General on the run, getting surrounded by Secret. Pounded, brought down, and now turning back for Dendi with Arteezy there on the chase. Bulba in pursuit. They are out of ultimates, and proper lockdown, but a bash from Arteezy may be enough. Bulba can try to slow him with the sticky, but Dendi says that's sticky. He just keeps on going. Looks like he should be okay, So. They continue chasing, maybe not yet. Oh, uh, yes. Secret going deep for this one. Envy getting the damage stolen, and now Denny gonna turn the other direction, but oh, there they go. They managed to disable the cooldown on the Timber Chain. It has the Bloodstone deny, so Dendi falls in the end. Weaver did hold on to the Aegis. Spirit always scouting is the other thing, and you really, it doesn't seem like they can burst the Void. Or the, the Razor now at the BKB, so it's just, it's very tough to get that kill. And, oh, for Secret, the kills seem to be a little bit easier. They're moving on to Dendi now. The lasso comes through. Will he get the Bloodstone deny off? Not gonna happen. Deleted. What is so hard for Na'Vi is so simple for Secret. I mean, all their heroes just move around very quickly. Time walk, and then you have the Razor's item build. Bat Rider with, uh, with the recall as well. Oh, Chrono onto Diyara. Kills, Arteezy going to work here, gets off the dilation as well. Diyara, see okay. ya! This time is perfect execution to get the kill, and meanwhile, General getting a solo pickup on the Bat, ri uh, on the bat Rider here on top lane. Uh, might find Pilot die as well with the Necro Volk, but then he brings an Envy, so Beastmaster stop will also need to my back support. away. He says, stop blinging him! Leave him alone! Well, at least Pilot die is farming this game. Will you do that more for me when I support you? What, help you? But they've had like the right mix of items that get them towards the late game, a draft that can scale, as well as, as well as you know, not too much greed. Yeah, I and think things like the Vanguard are, are kind of finding that balance, but here comes the smoke from Navi, looking for the opening here, the swap on Arteezy. He matches quickly, the bench stun not gonna be there in time. He jumps out, had plenty of time to react to that one. They don't have that swap in the hex type of combo. And now Secret looking to turn this one around on his head. They are all getting pulled back. The Chen Hand of God, not enough. There's the Chrono. On the Art Style, logging Sineko down too. And Arteezy surges forward. The Creep Army's here for now. Art Style completely held down. The Weaver dead. Arteezy actually going to back away and play it safe because the Timber Saw is in far. Dendi looks like his going to be his turn next. Flame Break back in. Will not get off the Bloodstone deny. Now down to a lonely three charges. Damn, that coordination was again, once again so good from Secret. They get the Lasso onto the Weaver and then immediately Arteezy comes in with the Chrono to stop the backup from coming into the Weaver. Just our maneuver secret in the team fights. Sorry, does complete the butterfly now. Oh, he, this is like one scary void right there. Give this man another item. Now at 180 agility, forces out a temper saw deny with basically just right clicks. At this point, the viewer needs another item. Not he needs void. an MKB <laughs> stat, but I don't know if he's gonna have a chance to farm it. Winter, he just bought a BKB. Like, he's definitely feeling the effects of the Elder Titan storm plus the mana lead. And if he ever gets caught by a Chrono and there's not a bench swap, he's just done for. Zarteezy oh. is gonna calmly man to dodge a bench stun. Just keeps on moving forward. He may look for the Chrono here momentarily. No, he's gonna zippity doo dah right out of there instead. Going in deep is General, and they're gonna immediately focus that Beastmaster down. Axes get lobbed out. He will fall as well. Dendi going deep for this one, but Arteezy is on the case. Moving for Dendi and gets the stomp off, follows it up with some auto attacks, finishes the job, gets the kill. Two cores down, Arteezy at full HP, just healing time walk after time walk. The damage is just shaken off with ease as he moves forward deeper. It's starting to get a bit low. We'll time walk that off as well. Stomp coming through, just barely failing to clip Diyara, but the napalm prevents him from turning easily. Secret, a three for one there, and now looking for more. Man, Secret is just showing so much finesse in this game. like team play on top of things and all the spell usage, positioning. I mean, it's all it's a great overall strategy and, and team play, but it's also the little individual mechanical things like what we saw from Arteezy there, Bulba with the flame break back into the Earth Splitter earlier. They're, they're doing the little things right here too. Yeah, I think I'm most impressed with the way they itemize this game and the way they approach the game. That was, I think, by far the biggest deal that made Na'Vi struggle so much in this game. Oh, Diyara trying to hit Envy and quickly finds that Envy hits back a lot harder. Arteezy will bring that melee rex down. 
He does get swapped in into a roar. Do they have the refresher or it doesn't look like it? Can they focus him down or is he going to time walk it all off? Oh no, he's out of there. And now General gets pulled back in. Navi just don't have the firepower required. The purge comes through. Dityara committing for Arteezy. He just can't scratch him. The man's too tanky. They, they can't kill Arteezy without a huge overcommitment or the refresher. And I don't know that they're going to get a chance to farm it now with the Illuminate coming through. Seeker could maybe chase for more kills. They have the Chrono again, but and they don't feel the need to force it. So disheartening, failing to kill the Void there. He's just way too tanky. If only someone had an extra item or something, they just... then mm. it's possible. They can't even get into the fight, Winter. Like, if one of them gets caught, they either run or they die. We saw Denny just got killed by auto attacks, basically. They have to try and initiate with the Beast, and then kill Secret first before Secret initiates with either the Lasso or the Chrono. Oh, they may try, but for TZ just being healed up now. Gandalf unveils his shiny new white staff. They get the swap off. It's into Aurora. TZ isn't deep. They do finally manage to bring him down. That, that's, Perfect combination there. That's very well executed. They initiated first. And now like Navi are going to look to push the advantage here. Puppy being pursued out, but Envy is still there with the BKB. Doing quite a bit of damage. Can they focus Envy down? If not, he is going to turn this fight. He has stolen a lot of damage with the static link. Plus... 226 there, it looks like, and now turning back and laying into art style, bringing them all down on the courtesy of the Chrono with the buyback from Arteezy. They re engage the era, chasing, they've lost three, the buyback, and another death, a dieback for him. Four heroes down for Navi, and in moments, likely a GG to come out. They are just out of out of horses at this point. They'll blink away with General, but they lack their carry. Arteezy, he gets the bash, insult to injury, the stomp. And then a couple more auto attacks will bring General down and Dendi frantically moves in, but he gets purged. He gets focused down by the Void, bash after bash, crushing Navi spirits and crushing their chances of taking this game on. Secret had all the answers. They now lead the best of five, one to zero. Man, what a game by Secret, Goldman. Man, absolute top class. Clinic. Dolo. That was a clinic. Overall team play, excellent. Overall strategy, excellent. Itemization, great. Decision making, great. Like, Individual plays. I they had it all. Oh, this is one scary team. And you can see the, the smiles start to creep.